Okay, so I'm going to be talking about the bicarbonate buffer system and its role in metabolic and respiratory pH imbalances. So first, let's talk about what pH is. Well, it's a scale from 1 to 14, 1 being acidic, uh, 14 is basic, and your blood is just about 7. If you're basic, you have less hydrogen ions, and if you're acidic, you have more hydrogen ions. So high pH is a low hydrogen ion concentration, and a low pH is a high hydrogen ion concentration. So here's an equation, and on the left we see that CO2 is acidic, and on the right we see that hydrogen is acidic, and bicarbonate is basic. It can actually be both, but let's not worry about that. So here's that equation again. On the left side, it represents the lungs, because the lungs decrease acid by increasing rests, which decreases CO2, which is acidic because you're breathing it out. On the other side, uh, this represents the kidneys, because this is the part that the kidneys take care of, and they decrease acid by peeing out hydrogen ions and secreting bicarbonate, so basically putting base into the blood. So basically, on the left-hand side, the CO2 lungs are respiratory, so the lungs are not keeping up, causing acidosis or alkalosis. When this happens, the kidneys start to help out to co or otherwise compensate. So basically, respiratory acidosis, your lungs aren't getting enough, getting rid of enough CO2, and that builds up, causing acidosis. And your kidneys compensate by secreting a base, bicarbonate, and trying to get rid of the excess hydrogen ions, which are acidic. In alkalosis, your lungs are breathing too much and getting rid of too much CO2 or acid. And the kidneys will compensate by reabsorbing their base, the bicarbonate, into their special containers and not secreting the hydrogen. So in short here, less breathing is more CO2, which is more acid which is respiratory acidosis. So a low pH is more acid and high CO2 because it is acid and it's compensated with a high bicarbonate, which is the base. And the other way around, of course, more breathing, less CO2. Less CO2 is less acid. And the kidneys help and store their base and not pee out the acid. So this is alkalosis, a high pH with low CO2, which is compensated by low bicarbonate. All right, so on the other side, we have the kidneys. So if this is affected, it's metabolic. The kidneys can't do their job to regulate pH. As acid builds up in the bodies, the kidneys aren't secreting enough uh, hydrogen or secreting enough uh, bicarbonate. So the question is, why does the bicarbonate go down? Well, because what is left in the system is being bound to the free hydrogen to make the equation go to left so the lungs can compensate, but the kidneys are too slow to secrete the bicarbonate to keep up the demand, especially because in this case they're sick and not functioning properly, which is causing the problem. So, but to compensate, the lungs are now going to change the respirate to try to help out. If they're acidic, they're going to breathe more, and if they're alkalotic, they're going to breathe less. So again, in short, kidneys can't function which is causing the pH imbalance. In metabolic acidosis, the hydrogen ion concentration is too high, the pH too low, and the bicarbonate is too low. Or the other way around, when the kidneys are perhaps secreting too much hydrogen or secreting too much bicarbonate, because it takes them longer to adjust, we get alkalosis. So it's a low hydrogen concentration, high bicarbonate, high pH, compensated with CO2. So, essentially, the point is the kidneys are slow at fixing and the lungs are faster at fixing. So that's important to keep in mind. And remember, CO, if the CO2 is off, it's going to be a respiratory problem. If the bicarbonate is off, it's a metabolic problem. If both are off, there's some sort of compensation. And if the pH is a high or low normal, it means it's fully compensated. So now, if you're ready for some examples, you can watch part two. Created using Powtoon.